Hi, welcome to my channel. Today is at another video of Dubai driving license. So in this uh, video, I am going to tell you about all the things, points keep to keep in mind uh, to prepare uh, before your RTA final uh, test. So uh, on this test day, you make sure that you have to arrive half an hour before uh, at the center and be relaxed and um, examiner will be taking three students uh, one time in one vehicle and uh, the first student will start the other students will be sitting uh, in the back side so once you start uh, first check uh, you know cockpit uh, drill that is d triple sm so that is door and the seat adjustment seat adjustment and steering you can adjust and the uh, next one is uh, seat belt the last one mirrors three mirrors you have to adjust accordingly and uh, one most important thing uh, seat belt make sure that your examiner is also wearing seat belt and other two students also wearing that is seat belt next then your test is starting now uh, you are starting your vehicle um, uh, maybe you are going right or left so six points check this is most important start the vehicle six point like you know uh, left uh, blind spot left side mirror um, center mirror right side mirror right blind spot and back side indicate and go uh, make sure that your uh, vehicle is in the center of the road then next they are going to tell um, right or left turn right or left the examiner's instruction so what is the uh, point uh, what is the points to keep in mind while taking left and right is mspsl m means mirror that you are uh, checking is there any vehicle close behind you then signal if it is left left or right right then p position center of the position the car in the center of the road then msps now uh, slow down vehicle slow down look for safety both side then go and uh, uh, please don't uh, uh, touch the yellow line while taking right or left it is a minor mistake for each time you are making the same mistake they will mark one one for each mistake so this is for right and left turn and next coming like a pedestrian what is a pedestrian uh, pedestrian it will be you have to check center mirror and both side if there are any pedestrian is passing put hazard light wait and then uh, slow down the vehicle and go and this is for a pedestrian now next is uh, stopping at a, a, a stop sign and the solid line some you know parking areas and all there will be a solid line so it is even though if there are no vehicle you have to stop completely for three seconds and check and go so it's a major mistake actually and pedestrian one more thing uh, while you are the road is very rushed rush and busy you are going maintaining the safe distance some vehicle you know in between in, in front of you so if you are taking uh, the vehicle but and there is a pedestrian is coming even though there are no pedestrian is passing you are uh, taking behind the vehicle and you are stopping on the pedestrian line it is also immediate fa fail so you stop before the pedestrian so this is also there and uh, now roundabout roundabout uh, while taking if it is a right the examiner will be giving the instruction make sure that the road or the lane the roundabout is clear before entering and uh, if it is right right indicator and move and uh, uh, if it is uh, uh, left or a u turn you have to change the line uh, change the lane and prepare then move to the uh, respective lane and uh, take the roundabout and exit so this is for a roundabout now for change line change line what is the ch uh, change line if you are changing to the left first uh, judge through the this uh, center mirror indicate left side mirror left shoulder uh, i mean blind spot then again back to center mirror then change this is the thing if it is there is any vehicle um, uh, there is there are no vehicle on the uh, blind spot then uh, in the same speed no need to reduce or lower the speed and the same speed you can um, change the lane 
and if you are you know if you are not uh, following all these uh, check the examiner will notice so this shoulder i mean shoulder check i mean the blind spot which is most important so if you are not if you are just simply acting like this and moving if there are any vehicle on on your uh, blind spot the examiner will interfere like you know they will uh, hold your steering and they will start uh, breaking your vehicle so it is a major mistake that is an immediate fail also so this is about uh, 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 round i mean change lane and round about uh, u turn also you have to change the lane so if they give the instruction before itself so you have to be prepared changing the lane take u turn and for the left also same now road speed limit you have to maintain the certain speed limit which is uh, marked on the road so some areas like you know mostly uh, it will be school zone residential area it will be 30 40 and uh, highways uh, uh, the test there will not there will not be any highway so it will be 60 30 40 60 80 80 will be there so you have to maintain accordingly don't go too slow and uh, just maintain the uh, speed limit of the road to tell about the signal stop uh, uh, at the red uh, red signal uh, it is a major mistake and mostly for the test uh, there will be uh, in, the instructor instruction will be um, a signal right and a signal u turn and left mostly the, the examiner will not be checking so these are the two right and the u turn so uh, follow the instruction and do according uh, they will be asking only to parking mainly they are asking to parking like here parallel parking so th i told you three students will be there first uh, students will be going in the on the road and maybe somewhere they will tell you to park it will be a parallel park or uh, angle park it will be so same whatever uh, we have learned and followed during the parking test six points check while parking and don't forget uh, this um, handbrake while parking and while uh, taking out of the parking also same Uh, six points check you have to follow i have mentioned all this so that is the thing why uh, so these are the major and uh, you know things when they are uh, checking during your um, driving test so uh, show them that you are confident enough and you show you know that you are checking left and right side mirror mirror uh, frequently and center mirror that is the most important thing also check frequently so do some action drama here and there that uh, you are observe observing and uh, judging uh, um, judgment is fast so the major mistakes are failure to stop at a red signal uh, stop line and the stop line this is the first major mistake and second one uh, colliding with any mobile or immobile objects and it's triggering the examiner like you know intervention of examiner you are hitting somewhere you are uh, entering into the footpath or you while well in the rando but your uh, vehicle is sitting onto the footpath these are all they can cause the intervention intervention of the examiner so that is a second major mistake third one is not adhering to the traffic sign or examiner's instruction you are entering into the stop sign or yellow box junction or uh, you, uh, you know you are not following the traffic sign this is all or uh, you are driving on the wrong side these are all the major mistake and it is an immediate fail also fourth one is lack of vehicle control so while you are on the road the examiner will examine you evaluate you so they will understand that you know you are maybe on the wrong side your control the lack of control that also a major mistake and it is also an immediate fail and the last one is failure to ensure the road the line or a roundabout is clear before proceeding or entering into the roundabout that is a major mistake and you have to make sure that it is clear before entering so these are the major mistake if you commit one major mistake it is an immediate fail and minor mistake it is 13 minor mistakes are allowed more than that it is a failure our confidence level is the main thing i know some people they get nervous 
so follow their instruction properly if they are not giving any instruction or anything go straight and um, uh, if you have uh, you know if you fail one or two times just note down what all the mistake you made uh, in that test and uh, then uh, definitely you will be going to eight uh, eight classes right eight cl training so in that time discuss uh, to your instructor and um, so correct all those mistake that's it the so these are only the this that's it uh, about rta road test so keep in mind all those points and uh, um, just keep calm and cool and uh, relaxed then uh, drive then definitely you will be getting your license no doubt i hope it helps for those who are appearing or those who are preparing for your uh, internal road assessment or rta final road uh, test oh, this is all for today thanks for watching bye bye